Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about for loop in Python. So before we get into the details of Python for loop format and how you can use it, what exactly are loops? So loop is a sequence. So basically, if you want to execute certain piece of code again and again, then you use loop. And we have understood about the while loop. Now we'll learn about the for loop. So for loop will do similar stuff. It will do a particular set of execution. It will execute certain statements again and again. If we talk about real life example, many times during our childhood days, we were asked to do certain stuff again and again. So our parents asked us uh, to write or practice the writing again and again so that we improve our handwriting. That's a separate case that we didn't improve it. We didn't practice much. So that's where for or basically loop. So we were trying to do things again and again. And in programming, it's sort of similar concept. When we want to execute or do certain thing again and again, we will lose, we will use loop. And in this tutorial, I'll, uh, I'll explain you about for loop. Okay. So let me quickly create a new file and I'll name it as for loop demo. All right. Okay. Now let me quickly copy and paste these two lines, which will basically explain what exactly the for loops are. Okay. So now for loop within Python is different from for loops from other programming language, right? So if you're coming from Java background, for loop within Python will be a bit different. So within Python, for loop will act like an iterator as you have used iterator in other programming language. Um, for loop will be used to iterate over a sequence. So in the sequence in Python, the sequences will be can be a list, can be a string, can be a dictionary, set, tuple. So anything uh, that is a sequence within Python, we can use for loop to iterate over this list or string. Now the simplest for loop, say for example, there is a string. So there is a variable s which holds a string, I would say Delhi, say for example. Okay. Or let me have a name as city. Okay. So variable name is city that holds the value as Delhi. So this is a string. Okay. Now I can use for loop to iterate over this sequence because string is a sequence. So string values I can access using the indexes. So D is at index zero, E is at index one, and accordingly it follows that. Okay. So how can I use for loop? The simplest form is the syntax is for, and then I will take any, say for example, for C in city. Okay and then followed by colon. Okay, so now what this does is it will work as an iterator over this variable. Okay, the variable that holds a string value and then we will print the value. Okay, so we can simply say print C. Okay, in this particular case, it will print the values. All right, so you can see that it has printed the values D E L H I. So it has what it has done is it has iterated through this particular value, which is which is held in the variable city. And for each character within this particular string, it has printed that particular value, right? So this loop, what it's doing is it is saying that for each character in this particular city, go ahead and print the character, right? So what it does is it goes through and picks the first character, prints it, then again loops in second and then keeps doing that. Okay, so we can iterate over the particular sequence. So this is the string sequence. Now say for example, I have a list. Okay, so the list contains multiple items. Okay, so say for example, list has multiple cities there. All right, now this particular list holds multiple values. Now what this will print is it will go ahead and pick each value as it was exactly in the string example. So in the string, each value of the string was being printed. So now because this is the list, each city is a value of this particular list. So if I run this, each value will be printed out. Okay, same thing we can do for tuples. Okay, so if I change this to tuple instead of list, this will perform exactly the same way, right? So it will iterate through the tuple. So a string, set and tuple, we have seen how for loop can be used to iterate through the these three. 
Now, when it comes to list of lists or list within the list, say for example, I have a list, all right? Say for example, there is a list and then within list I have say country. So I'll have a country, so country and then a city of the country, okay? So there are two values. Now in this particular case, I'll change it to USA here and this one, let me change to, okay. So now I have a list which contains the list within it. Okay. Now in this particular case, if I want to iterate over this particular list city, so each sub list, which is basically part of this will get printed, right? Now in this particular case, it will print the list within the list. So the sub list is an item in this particular case and it will iterate through and print the values. Now if say for example, I want the values within each of the sub list. Okay. So if say for example, I want to print country is and then C and city is something. So I want to print country and then the city of that particular country. So let me use city here. So what I can do is I can say here, I can say country and then comma city. So I have to change it because city holds this particular whole list. So whatever variables I'm using here needs to be different from what I'm using to define here. Okay. So either I change this variable. So I'll change this to cities now and then I'll change this to cities. So what this will do is for each, you can read it like this so for each country and city in the cities list, then print the country. So here I have to change country and city and city is city. All right. So I have to use the concatenation operators there to concatenate, right? And if I print this now, you will see country is India and city is Delhi. So each of these statements have been printed. I have to make it a little bit to provide the spaces. This is the simplest sort of formatting that you can do. So here you can see that country is India and city is Delhi has been printed. So this is how you will access the list within list. So basically, if there are multiple lists uh, within a parent list, then you can access the values within the list or nested list basically. Basically, So we have seen the examples of string, list and tuple. Now, so for example, I want to see or iterate over the values of the set. It's exactly the same. So let me copy this line. Okay. And instead of, so let me change it to tuple sorry, uh, set. So accessing the values of the set is exactly same as we did for the list string and tuple. So this is the set which holds two values here. Now, say for example, I want to iterate over the set. So what I'll do is I'll simply change it to as it was before. So for cities, for city, I would say, so it has to be different. So this variable needs to be different from what holds this particular set and I'll print the city. So I'll say, just say city. All right. India is not a city. So let me change it. If I run this, you can see the values of the set got printed. Okay. So we have seen set, string, list, and tuple. Now, say for example, you have the dictionary as well, and you want to iterate over the dictionary. So what you can do is if this particular cities, so let me uncomment this, and I want to convert this to a dictionary. So there is a function or method available within Python. So I can type cast this. So I can say my underscore dictionary. Okay. And in this variable, I will type cast. So I'll use the function dict. And within this, I will pass this particular list cities. All right. Now this particular my dictionary will hold the dictionary that will be converted through this cities list. Okay. So let me print the dictionary. So I'll say print my dictionary and comment this out first. So you can see that this particular list has been converted to dictionary, which holds the same exact values, right? And dictionary starts with curly braces. If you haven't watched my previous tutorial in this playlist, please go to the YouTube channel. I have created the complete playlist. Go through the playlist and watch uh, in sequence because that will really help you to build the foundation skills and then go along with this whole tutorial series. Okay. So now we have the dictionary. Now what we have to do is we'll use the similar logic. So we'll say for city uh, or for country comma 
city in cities right so here we are not doing the cities we are holding it in the my dictionary so dictionaries so we'll say for country comma city in my dictionary because my dictionary is holding this uh, dictionary now and we want to iterate over the dictionary so what we'll do is we'll simply type in we'll say print and then we'll print country and then comma city okay so this for loop will now iterate over the dictionary and print the country and city for me oops so here you can see the problem is because we are trying to iterate over the dictionary right and then print so what we have to do is we have to in if you are working with the dictionary we have to basically use the method to get the items of the dictionary so we have to use the function items so what we are doing is we are trying to get the value so we are trying to get the country and city out of the dictionary and unless and until we use the items method we won't be able to get the value so i have used the items and you will see that now the values the country and the city have been printed so if you are accessing a dictionary uh, items then make sure that you are using my dictionary dot items when you are using or trying to access the items from the dictionary there are many other methods that i have covered as part of the dictionary tutorial you can go ahead and watch that if you're using this with the for loop so to access it in a exactly you know similar way as we have accessed the list this is how we'll be doing with the dictionary i'll cover one more thing basically so with the for loop you can use nested loops as well so within the for loop i can use another for loop so say for example i want to iterate over a string right so for say s in and then if i want to iterate on something within the country okay so i'll say for s in country and followed by colon i want to print the characters okay so for each character in the country i want to print the characters as well so i can use that as well so if i run this you will see that for each country right so first it has printed the country and the city and then for each country it has went in and the inner for loop has printed the alphabets of each of that country right so we can use nested for loops and all of those things that are possible in other programming languages you can use absolutely fine here in python programming so this is very basic introduction go ahead and practice as much as you can with the nested for loop try to do a lot of practice exercises play around with uh, different variations and see how you will be able to access the items or iterate over the items in the list string dictionary set or tuple using the for loop so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching